uh, a lift where I can push his back towards the ground. What is important, and then why this drill is so it's so good for everyone, is that you have the sense of your distance. If you're too far, you're not gonna finish uh, with the control. If you're too close, then your opponent can do other stuff against you. But then you have to, uh, to understand that you're just learning your distance. So if I get too close and he wraps my leg, I don't go for my drill, and he's attacking my leg, going to X guard and, and then so on, and knee bars and you know, hooks and stuff like that. If I'm too far, it's gonna be hard for you to add pressure towards your opponent. All right, so I will run, I'm going to start with uh, my friend with his back on the floor, okay, right here, because you're going to get him closer. So if he extends his leg completely to try to catch you, that's good for you, okay? No one wants to be completely extended when they're doing guard, okay? So, but if I'm too close and he doesn't need to extend, that's not so good, okay? So we're going to start with that kind of idea, and I'll get closer, don't have to. I need to move and cut the corners, and then move his knee all the way to the ground as I place my hand on his hips, so side, right here, okay? So, but that knee needs to go to the ground. If it doesn't go to the ground, you are not going to succeed on that, okay? So you have, the reason you cut the corners is that he follows you on that, and then you help him to go. So you're here, and then also, super important, is that you're not gonna be, okay? So don't be, you know, kind of a lazy pass. So your leg is going to be close to the ground, and then get ready to like tangle your legs and stuff like that. If you try to catch, you can't move, and then you're gonna go side, press his knee to the ground, okay? So here, and then you're gonna come back, pushing his hip bone and his knee really hard back to the position, okay? So you're here, so you get your distance, side, then you glue, okay? Because at this moment, it's when your opponent starts jumping, pushing, moving, trying to escape, trying to slide, and that's the moment that you have to be really tight, okay? Then you can move whatever you want to move to progress on your position, okay? So just a warm up, you guys get sweaty, and then you move on, okay? Any questions so far? Just side to side, side to side. Yeah, just go side to side. Okay, so again, it's a drill for your distance as a drill for the pass, okay? You get here, knees bent, side. Then you push it, okay? Then he can come back here, you can start going underneath, okay? There are other uh, positions. If he keeps moving that way, you just keep tight. Everything needs to be very tight. I will move my hand, if it's going that way, I will move my hand from his hips for the simple reason. You know, you hurt it and come back to me, that that can happen, okay? So, if it's going that way, I'm always controlling that hip with my elbow right here. Later on, you can go towards the arm. Now he's not gonna be able to do that anyway. Okay, so, uh, it's a good drill to warm up. Get your legs working. All right, guys, go ahead. One, two, three. One, two, three.